In this GeoMapApp tutorial, we'll explore the grid analysis functions. In this tutorial, we'll analyze one of the built-in gravity grids, but all of the functions shown apply equally to any of the other grids that are built in or to any grid that is imported. As we've seen in the other tutorials on loading built-in grids, we'll go to the base maps menu and select the global grids option and find the gravity grid that we're interested in, this one. Once the grid has loaded, a layer manager window and a grid dialog window opens and these may be parked in the computer taskbar so we may need to go and find them. Here they are. Using the layer manager window, we can turn the grid on and off by clicking or unclicking this button here. And the transparency of the grid is changed by moving the slider bar on the opacity scale to the left and right, like this. This allows us to analyse the layers underneath the grid that we're looking at. The layer manager window also allows us to control the order of the layers in GeoMap app by using the up and down arrows here. Let's minimize the layer manager window and explore the functions in the grid dialog window shown here. First, let's examine the layout of the grid dialog window. Contours can be drawn on the grid by activating the contour tool here. Next to that we have a profiling function. The ES button allows us to switch between elevations, or in this case the gravity-free air anomalies, and slope. Over here we have a function that allows us to change the vertical exaggeration on display. Next to that we have a palettes menu. And down here we can change the artificial sun illumination, or turn it on and off. Let's look at some of these functions in more detail. This part of the grid dialog window shows a histogram of the third dimension of the grid. It also shows the distribution of the color palette used for coloring the grid. And when we have an elevation grid loaded, the lower part of the window shows statistics for the area, elevation and slope of the grid, down here. The color palette used for coloring the grid can be changed by looking at the options under the palettes menu here. So for example if we were viewing a grid of side scan data we could choose a black white or white black scale. For now we'll stick with the default color palette. If we wish to change the colors on view we can click and drag these grey vertical lines to change the scaling like so. The amount of vertical exaggeration is changed by altering the number in the VE box here and hitting the return key. Let's change it to say 6. Contours can be drawn on the gridded surface by using the contour function here. When we click on the icon, a window pops up giving us the default values. In this case, let's choose to draw 50 milligal contours between minus 400 and, say, 200 milligals, and hit the OK button. And there we see the contours on the gridded surface. The contours are turned off by clicking once more on the contour button. In order to take a profile across the gridded surface, we use the profiling function here. When we click on the profile function, the cursor becomes active and we define the start and end points of the profile by clicking on the map. So let's activate the profile function and draw the profile from, say, here to here. The default profile is the longer great circle line and we can change that to be a straight line if we wish. As we move the cursor in the profile window, there's a symbol on the profile line in the map window that shows exactly where the cursor is located. Also notice that the value of the third dimension, in this case the gravity-free air anomaly, is listed in the upper part of the profile window here, as well as in the top bar of the GeoMap app window here. Lastly for the profiling function, 
The Save menu offers a number of options to save the profile, either as an image or as a table. To dispose the profile window, we click the red X in the corner. If the grid dialog window is no longer visible, we can find it once more and bring it to the front by going under the Windows menu and selecting it. The artificial illumination used on the map can be turned on and off using the radio buttons here. And the orientation of the illumination is changed by dragging the little yellow sun symbol about the target, like so. The diskette symbol here offers a number of options for saving the grid and the map, and these options are identical to those found under the diskette symbol that's located in the GeoMap app toolbar at the top of the window, and under the File Save As menu. When we click on the diskette, we see a range of options to save the grid in various formats, or to save the map window in various image formats. Finally, to dispose the grid that we're analysing, we hit the close button here and revert to the GeoMap app default base map. More information on GeoMap app can be found at www.geomapapp.org.